And welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Vesperia. Last time we, uh, after doing some more stuff in Dawnquest, uh, returned to Mount Temza, oh, which we found to be kind of in bad Let's shape go. from the Great War. Uh, now we are continuing our hunt for Judith, who is apparently being chased by potentially the Hunting Blades and the Knights, which is just peachy. How much health does this have? <laughs> These attacks do like 500 piece, and yet these take forever, it feels like, at this point. Also, the damage rolls are ridiculous, because that one did like 300, and the other did like 100 something. I saw 900 in there, so yeah, these damage rolls. Nah, this isn't scary. Your legs are shaking. You're kidding. Yeah, I am. Uh, the damage rolls seem all over the place sometimes. Sometimes it just feels like you got ridiculously high numbers and then your literal next attack is a lot weaker. Unless Raven's arrows just work that way. That could be. Nah, sometimes like maybe the mill hit is the strongest for Raven. Now I'm curious. Now I can't tell when there are a bajillion numbers. Nope, seems to be random. Uh, and also he does have a dagger so might as well show that to you. Um, Raven's a pretty, a pretty good fighter actually because you can hit both close range and long range. Um, which is really helpful. 5,000. Uh, okay, this guy's gonna go down faster, so let's focus on him. No perfect guarding, but oh well. Uh, what is his art setup? At the moment, uh, ba 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 ba. Uh, sure, swap some stuff around. Man, we have so many more arts than we did uh, a little while ago. I really need to equip this. It's a healing art. Uh, does he? Does he? Oh, there we go. Have this here. I think this is the one where it will just eventually come to back down and hit the enemy. I'm just kind of curious, really, at this point. Like, what does this actually do? Uh... Oh, that didn't work. Carol is much lower level than the rest of the party, so that's part of the reason why he died, for sure. Um... Yeah, sure, just use items at this point. <laughs> Altered art. Pretty good. Considering we're getting so many uh, poison bottles, it's really not a big deal using poison bottles. <laughs> Pretty good for someone who just died. Again, if it, if it gets really bad, I can always go back to town and stock up. Um, because we might need some more uh, TP recovery at some point. Crimson Phoenix plus one. Well then... FS bonus... Uh, oh, that skill. That's pretty good then. But I'm still learning quick turn, so we're gonna leave that on a little bit longer. Uh, if there's signs of a boss looming, you don't scare of course me. I'll swap things around a little bit, but I don't think there's gonna be a boss for a little bit. I have a feeling since we're, you know, scaling a mountain, it might be a while. Have we actually seen this burst art yet? I don't think we have. Um, apparently that doesn't change into a burst art. <laughs> what does work for burst art for Raven? <laughs> do I even have his burst art, actually? <laughs> I do. Uh, huh. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure how to trigger his burst art with any of those arts, at least. <laughs> Well then, uh, a few more to go. I do find it interesting in this game that each character has two weapons. You know, uh, some are more subtle, like, you know, uh, still having a shield, because she doesn't really use that in battle too often. This is kind of interesting that each character does have two weapons. Uh, struck so enemy in the air, heal item used. Uh, yeah, I don't... Hooray, if I got that burst art to work, use this power for justice. Uh, we would have actually had positive grade on that. Also, I found out that the D-pad just kind of awkwardly rotates your character, <laughs> and as does the right control stick when you're in, not in the field. 
when you're at, like a town map, yeah, it just kind of rotates your character at uh, very specific angles. I'm not quite sure what the purpose of that is. Oh, I completely missed, but... Hold still. Oh well. This quick. Yeah, we're good. I'm just gonna kinda... <laughs> go around the arena, go inside... Like that... And combo! And completely missed as well. Uh... Is this one? Glimmer of Heaven? Yeah, a glimmer of ha oh, there, th there it was. Uh, she named me to this guy and have fall back down. It reminds me of a Pokemon move, how they are always Pokemon moves. Oh, that's cool. Um, it's probably a downward attack, if I had to make a guess. Yep, jump and fire an arrow at the end of the enemy. Attack char changes with distance with cer when certain skills set. Uh, okay, here's another question I have. That just occurred to me. For burst start. Do you have to combo into it with a base art? I think that's probably what was going wrong. It has to be a base art. So once we get this meter up uh, again, I'm gonna try that. Ow. <laughs> that actually looks really bad. Um, I really need to take out this mage. Okay, gonna try it. I have no clue if this is gonna work, but it's worth a shot. Uh, apparently not. <laughs> and, yeah, that is the base art. But it's also not working. Wait, this is the base art, but it's also not doing anything, so... Uh... Yeah, I'm not quite sure how this triggers. Like, what is actually... Let's find Arcane. Oh, there we go. Well, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, so that one <laughs> works. Sign instant. Well, well then. Okay, that heals multiple party members. That's actually really powerful. Uh, there we go. Couple more hits and uh, done. I am awesome. More like sketchy. Yeah. That didn't sound like a cell. That sounded like Rita. I feel this power inside me. I mean that voice clip going, yeah, that didn't sound like a cell, cell's voice. This looks like the town. Which is actually really, really bad. This is a Critian city? More like the remains of one. What do you think Judith would come here for? Suppose it wouldn't make much sense to say she was feeling homesick. The hunting blades! Judith! You! Damn you! Go inform Tyson and Nan! Hey! Nobody lays a hand on one of our own. If she's broken our laws, we'll settle this amongst ourselves. Now get out of here. We're only trying to follow a monster we're hunting. This doesn't involve you. Okay, this is getting us nowhere. Let me at him! You're right. It's just a waste of time trying to talk sense to people like this. Leave. Now. Or do you really want to do this? Judith. You followed me here. Yeah, we're here to settle things for the sake of the guild. Judith, tell us everything you know. Why you destroyed the Blastia. About the Apatheia and the Entelikea, their relationship to Pharaoh. All of it. And even though you're one of us, your answers will decide your fate. Punish the unjust, was it? Honestly, I don't know if that's really a good thing or not. You've already come this far. I suppose there's no going back now. Come. Yuri, what did you mean about Judy's fate? If there's one thing that Dawn's last moments taught me, it's that I've been too soft. If a part is infected, you cut it off before it infects the whole. Even if it's a comrade, an Antilochea, 
or a friend. You mean even if it's Flynn or Farrell? Yeah. It's the path I've chosen for myself. I... The Hunting Blades again? We didn't just cross paths this time. We're after the same thing. We just might have to fight. If it does come to that, you guys don't have to worry about me. But we can't keep Judith waiting. Let's go! Carol... Our boy's growing up. Yeah. Isn't there some way we can avoid fighting the Hunting Blades? I hope so, but it's pretty much up to them. Yup. So, right here, this is treasure. Get that before I run right past it, which I could accidentally do. Immunity reduces the chances of receiving status effects. That'd be a good thing to have. Gonna save, because emergency saving is always a good thing. Actually, I'm gonna move it over here. Um, we have what, 60 slots left? <laughs> no pressure, really. Wow, that looks cool down there. So, where do we have to go now? Past this bridge, I assume? And more hunting blades. I actually want to explore around here a little bit more in case there's anything I missed. I doubt there is, but like, can I explore the buildings? Probably not. Yeah, it's looking like a no, but hey, one more treasure. Melange, melange. I don't know how to say that, but... Uh... 30% of both, that worked out <laughs> rather nicely time-wise. Okay, now we are good to go. Uh, looks like... I really want to know what's inside the building, because it looks like they rendered an inside of it. <laughs> Uh, even though you can't actually get up to that level. Okay, more hunting blades and probably more things to find. Okay, <laughs> the boxes are interesting. Um, but yeah, that is the problem I actually have, is sometimes hitboxes can be a little bit weird on field enemies, where it looks like you should be able to walk around them, but you can't. Um, and it get, it's a little bit disorienting. So I really wish it was actually a town so I could get in. Now it'd be really nice with all these battles. This is probably gonna be a place that has like a special one of those uh, healing save points. Just based on how tough a lot of the enemies are. And with <laughs> the hint of more hunting blades and Nan Na and Tyson showing up. Wow, that did a lot. Was that Angel Ring that did the three hundreds? Okay, one more. Uh, 5,000. The fights actually go really fast, surprisingly so. Um... So don't pick any more fights! Quick turn, so now I can finally ditch that weapon. Uh, Sun Smasher, uh, which is the better one? Uh, well, actually, the only one that isn't increased is this one. So if he's still learning those. Ice Coffin. So learn those. Uh, gonna... Switch to this, I think. For now. I'm trying to think of any other weapons. I don't think we have anything else. Uh, no. Actually, that, no, that's such a small decrease, it's not worth it. The hole in this mountain is like the hole in my heart. <sighs> How my chest aches. Getting all sentimental on us, old man? No, nah, it's just memories of the war. I'd appreciate it if we didn't spend too much time here. Stop being such a coward. Oh, that hurts, Rita. The only way to get past a bad memory is to embrace it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Not really. I was just generalizing. Anyway, you want to hurry, right? Then let's go. Our little genius mage is more mature than she looks. She has a point, actually. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> execution delivery might have been a little bit better, but she has a point. I'll make this quick. A lot of times, just kind of burying a memory doesn't actually get you anywhere. <laughs> you have to sort of just come to terms with everything that happened. Um, you know, in my life, I've learned that that's kind of the case. But in any case, uh, more fighting. What else? One interesting thing I want to know more about is, again, the time frame of the Great War. If Raven was involved 10 years ago, he would have been... 25? Because I read he's supposed to be 35. Come on, let's keep going. So yeah, it's kind of interesting to think about like the time period that this took place and that it was actually a lot more recent than I thought it was, and I'm probably just completely forgetting them mentioning, oh, this is when the Great War took place. And I spaced out on that small detail, because this is what, hour almost hour 30. <laughs> um But it's just kind of interesting to know that it's a very recent conflict in this, this world's fair. history. Okay, that does a lot of damage, unless that was Yuri's attack. Yeah, damage rolls range up to like a hundred points. Like the, the standard deviation for uh, magic damage rolls are really spread apart. It's kind of strange. And yeah, see, those are actually more consistent. Now there's one game, I think it's Xenoblade, that tells you like the range of possible damage values, which is actually really cool. It's actually really nice to know. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of interesting to note that this game does have a very wide range of damage uh, outputs. Okay, what's the... what do I have equipped it down, anyway? Oh, uh, Cyan Instant, which is apparently a really slow attack. Uh, oh, why am I not healing? <laughs> I have a healing spell too. <laughs> it just scared me. That was probably all the cell, not any thanks to me. Hey, come on! Yay! All right. How about a hug? I don't think so. So yeah, the fail strike basically saved the grade for that fight. <laughs> Uh, is this another thing we can't get past? Yes, it is. We probably were meant to have the other sorcerer's ring by now. Which is a problem. Uh, stun you. But still. So I can stun you. <laughs> I'll do my best. These guys are actually probably a little easier than the, uh, uh whatchamacallits. Why am, I, why am I blanking on the name? Uh, probably easier than like the actual, uh, like, human enemies. Animus. <laughs> Actually, it looks really hilarious when the miss is a burst arc, because it's like, oh, it's just sort of flailing in the air. I should have stood in that, shouldn't I? Uh, I'm good. <laughs> He heals himself when he says that. Basically saying that he loves himself. Reading between the lines. Sometimes it's a little bit hard distancing with Raven. Sometimes it feels like it should be one type of attack when it, it actually is like the other. Like you're not that far away but still arrows. Sometimes it can be a little bit disorienting. I can't? This is my victory pose! Oh, at first I was like, wow, she gained a lot of it, uh, TP for that, and it's like, oh, that's Yuri. Wrong person. <sighs> so yeah, we have a healing save icon. Meaning something really big's gonna go down. Soon. And the fact that they're giving us a bajillion weapons is also probably a sign of this. I think those were- were those weapons? Those- that wasn't a weapon, never mind. Then what was it, actually? Uh, oh it is. It's just for Judith. Okay. Wait, do we have two of those? Because I could have sworn we picked up another one already. Uh, we have four. <laughs> wow. Good drop rate on that thing. Ares. Uh, <laughs> well, named after the God of War, so I assume it's pretty good. Uh, it's got an elemental, so I'm a little bit iffy on that. I'm just gonna hope nothing above 
um, nothing up ahead has wind element <laughs> because that's what we're gonna be cake. using. Let's just get it over. Let's try it out. I think actually does these were you, weren't these guys weak to wind? I, I'm gonna double check. They were not weak to anything. Never mind. But something in this area was actually weak to wind, and it's like, oh hey, look, a wind thing. Pretty cool. I'm just gonna stand here in a circle. <laughs> And that completely undid all the healing. Okay. Almost with this one. Oh, wow. <laughs> the portraits are interesting. What, why is Ravens looking so down? Oh, because he's knocked out. Okay. Uh. 2000? <laughs> this should do it. That's over. And there you have it. And another travel guard because we didn't have enough of those, clearly. Uh oh. You'll be gone soon enough. Got another one of these lovely things. This is called Pandora, which is obviously a reference to Pandora, if I had to make a guess. Can you rotate these? You cannot. Level 58, holy crap. <laughs> I just noticed this like whoa, level 58. Are we gonna be okay? <laughs> Are we gonna be okay? Um I'm really not sure. <laughs> I'm just gonna put the pressure on and try to stunlock it. Cause that's all I can do really. Cause that hits really hard, but... Uh, but if I can just kinda keep comboing it and keeping it from actually getting off an attack, we should be okay. Should. <laughs> Being the operative phrase here. I'm just gonna do this then. I'm gonna wait till it wears off and then... This... Wait, was that an altered burst art? Is that a thing? <laughs> Apparently. Cool. I did not know that was even possible. <laughs> wow. Okay. That was pretty bad. Um. Let's go. Well, we actually had positive grades from that because of just the nature of the enemy and also the burst art. Holy cow, that's a lot of gold. Uh, look at that tick upwards. Uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> 20,000? 20, 20,000. Uh, damage taken, yeah. Allocated, defeated, burst art used. The burst art wasn't even just the burst art, actually, because the net gain was actually way higher than one. If it's like, if it's point for two, then yeah, it would have been the burst start that would have pushed it over the edge, but apparently not. Got a level up Rita. And they dropped the limit bottle. That's the weird thing about these things. They give you like a bajillion gold, and yet they also drop an item. <laughs> the first one I remember gave us like more gold, which basically yeah, doubled the we'll amount of gold that we were intended to get for that fight. <laughs> which is a little bit odd. What's on neutral? Okay, that's not helpful at all at this point. Also, another thing with Raven is distancing is a little bit awkward with arts because you have to kind of remember what art you're actually using. Like, what if I do this far away? I don't have enough TP for it. So, demonstration fail. But here's the thing on allies, yeah, using uh, healing items is a good idea, but on you, you can just adapt the strategy to not use arts for a little bit. So, it's not as big of a deal. Um, you know, I was actually thinking about something. I've been actually wanting to talk about this, but like Judith, uh, and with Judith and uh, everyone, all the characters kind of have their own little arcs, and I find that really fascinating. And I kind of like it compared to other games, other RPGs even. How this game basically has has really long like character arcs for everyone. It's not just like, oh, we gotta unite to like save the universe and all this cool stuff because it's a Japanese role-playing game. And that's always what happens. Um, not to say that that's a bad thing, but it's just typically a lot of JRPGs, in my opinion, tend to focus on the story rather than the characters. But this game actually puts a lot of emphasis on the characters. Par partly, maybe more than the story itself. You know, like, Estelle is going through her arc of trying to find out who she is. Um, 
Yuri is trying to sort of avenge the innocent. Flynn is trying to do the same thing, but just on a different way, and the central conflict is just Yuri and Flynn basically trying to do the same thing, just with drastically different tactics. Raven... We're not entirely sure what his deal is. He works for Altosk, but that's all we really know at the moment. <laughs> um, Carol's trying to start the guild and find his own sort of strength in being a guild master. Judith obviously has some sort of past with Baul and the Great War. Oh yeah, Raven's thing is the Great War, that's right, what we just learned about. The sign of victory! Repeat's a dog, so he doesn't really have any overarching trauma to speak of. He's just he's just the the pupper. Uh but like who did I not mention? Rita, well she is interested in Blastian, that's all we really know. But she connects to the other main plot about the, you know, the air crane. Uh, the Blastia, uh, the Apathea, so yeah, she connects in- she c Hmm. I'm trying to think, actually. Yuri obviously connects the most to the main story, because it's basically told from his point of view, but I would almost say Rita has, like, one of the biggest ties to the actual main plot, air quotes. You know, with her interest in Apathea and-, and Oh yeah, and Raven also was trying to find Apathea too. So yeah, I'm actually just <laughs> dissecting all the plot lines going on. It's like, oh wait, actually, that is a thing. I haven't actually checked stats for a little bit, so I thought I would. Interesting. I tend to just stick with one party in RPGs in case you didn't realize that in other games I've less played. Uh, I tend to just pick one party and roll with it. I'm actually trying to remember in Super Mario RPG, slight tangent, uh, what I actually had for a party setup on that game. Uh, if I actually used Bowser and Peach, or if I used Gino and Mallow. Yeah, I'm not sure, I can't recall. But in any case, I think we're good to end off this part for now. Uh, so, next time we will fight something really scary because they're giving us the save point right here. Uh, so thank you for watching and I hope you join me next time for more Tales of Vesperia.